Hello, welcome to our suite at the Golden Nugget. We're here for a two night stay at the Golden Nuggets East End Suite. We paid for a Thursday and Friday night stay around $437. That includes taxes and resort fees. Resort fees here are $37. Considering that they have an amazing pool, that's actually not too bad. We're actually gonna head down there next and a little bit later, I'll tell you a little bit more about the Golden Nugget. I will say that we got in pretty late last night and the room was a little lackluster. To start off with, it's pretty dark in here. But let's go catch some sunshine and then I'll catch you up on the room a bit later. Time to catch you up on the day so far. We went to the Golden Nuggets pool and we hung out there for quite a while. I did the slide, super, super fun, highly recommend. The line wasn't near as long as what I thought. It can wind, you might have to wait 15 minutes for it, but that's actually not too bad considering how fun that slide through the tank is. They have a huge aquarium there and you get to ride the slide through it. Highly recommend. The pool itself was pretty nice. I liked that they had an, a shaded grotto area in the back part of it so you could get out of the sun but still be in the water. Pool chairs there are actually really nice cushioned. There's a lot of them. They are packed pretty tightly together. So that's something to note. There is also very limited service, or at least there was today. We had lunch there and a couple drinks. My frozen lemonade with raspberry was divine. Super, super good, but also really boozy. So be careful with that. Brad had a Miami Vice, which is half frozen daiquiri and half pina colada. It was great too. Food was less stellar than the drinks. I had a quesadilla and by the time it got to me, it was kind of a melted mess. It just didn't feel very elevated. It felt like really lower end bar food. Brad had a club sandwich that I thought was pretty good, but he actually considered it pretty dry. So it definitely needed some more condiments. Prices were fair. I think my quesadilla was in the $16 range for Vegas. That's not absolutely terrible. Drinks also were pretty reasonable. My frozen lemonade was about $16. And I think that that was pretty good. I think it was worth $16 considering that we're in Vegas by a pool. We came back here and we took a bath in the bathtub. Great. Highly recommend. I love that so many of the rooms in Vegas have tubs. Big, big tub girly. I told you I'd talk about this room a little bit, and so let's talk about it now that we've been here roughly a little less than a day, but we've definitely been in here a while. My number one overall complaint is that it's just way too dark. I mean, it's like being in a tomb in here. With all the lights on, you're still walking around in like half darkness. The bathroom is well lit, so that's at least something. Except for the shower, which is also pretty dark. The room overall feels very dated. A lot more light actually might fix that. Just a few more lamps would probably go a long way. We also got in last night and from the time that we walked in, checked in, came upstairs, we didn't pass one open bar. It was 1.30 a.m., so just take that into consideration. And there's no mini bar in this room. So we would have had to go on quite the hunt for drinks if we wanted them. 
There is in-room dining. I haven't tried it yet though. There is a mini fridge and it is a very good size. So that is awesome. This room is huge, 770 square feet and you feel every bit of it. The closet is massive. I wish there was some more shelving in there. The only shelving is like above the bar and I'm 5'6 and I can't really see to put anything up there. So just wish there was a little bit more shelving. There's plenty of room to put it in there. It definitely feels like a sweet bathroom with the dual sinks that are separated and there's various little areas throughout the room that you can lounge and sit. It's nice that there's actually a full size dining table in here and there's a vanity and a separate bar area. Love it. Sleeping last night was okay. I would say the bed is good. The pillows are not. They have a very crinkly synthetic feel to them and they're both too hard and too soft at the same time. I'm going to call down before I go to bed tonight and see if housekeeping has any other options for me. Other than that, the general things that I talk about, uh, cleanliness, the room seems generally clean. There was a couple things that I have like seen kind of hidden away a few miscellaneous stains showing the room's age. This place hasn't been updated since kind of the early 2000s. I believe like 2008, 2009, if I remember correctly. So it shows. I would say the bathroom shows the most. Some of the vanities have some pretty decent sized wax taken out of them. I don't mind this room. I feel for the price point, if this was on the strip, you would be getting a great deal. Downtown, I'm a little less impressed. You're paying for this suite over a normal sized rush tower room. I think around a hundred dollars, maybe a hundred and fifty dollars per night. So sizable upgrade, but considering moving from a regular room to a suite on the strip would cost you probably triple that. So something to consider if you're looking for a lounge space here downtown. Right now, we are off to go grab a drink in a lounge before dinner. And then we have reservations at the Chart House tonight. There's lots of restaurants here in the Nugget. Definitely a plus. They also have several lounges. I particularly like Bar 46. It's half on the strip. It has a fire pit when it's not 100 degrees. Really has a nice vibe. I recommend the mint julep. I hope I get one tonight. Lots of the restaurants here at the Nugget are chain restaurants. I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a video before, but I am not a fan of chain restaurants. They're fine. I'd go out to them with my family. They're great for consistency, but when I'm here in Vegas, I want to be wined and dined. So there are very little options for that here at the Nugget. There is a Vic and Anthony's, and there's only four or five locations that I know of around the US of those. So they are scarce, but technically still a chain. And as for, even though they're consistently voted top steakhouse, they're not my personal favorite. I just soon go over to the plaza and have Oscars if I'm downtown and I want a steak. We'll visit Oscars sometime and show you around if you want. They have a new addition and it is beautiful from the photos that I've seen. But Chart House is particularly special here because it has the aquariums just like the tank pool does. So you get to dine with the fish and have an amazing meal, hopefully, with that. But we'll take you to dinner and we are out of the room for the rest of the night. Let's see what kind of fun we can get into. While walking around the back 
pathways of the golden nugget, you might find the world's largest golden nugget. Currently worth, we approximate around $2 million. Pretty cool. It's backed by Vic and Anthony's around the corner if you're looking for it while you're here. Good morning. It is the next morning. Let me tell you about our night last night. We grabbed drinks at the ice bar. I love that place because it's a great place to people watch. I thought that we would end up at bar 46, but it was pouring rain and without the fire pits going, it doesn't quite have the ambiance. So we hung out at the ice bar and I had an amazing espresso martini. Really, really good. Recommend. I think to wrap up this video, I'm going to go get a Bloody Mary. The ice bar has a make your own Bloody Mary bar. I think that that's amazing. If you're a Bloody Mary fan like I am, then that's definitely the way they go because it'll be how you prefer it. We went to the chart house. I'll say that service is good. That's all I'll say. I always like to end this video with who should stay here. Brad and I are definitely not the Nuggets target audience. I think this is a great place if you smoke and you gamble a lot. It is a fun place to gamble. The floor is amazing and a lot of our friends and family actually really love the Golden Nugget. There's nothing overtly wrong with it, but I think there are better places to stay downtown. I think this place rests on its laurels. It had a really good run and for the longest time it was the best place to stay here downtown. Personally, I would just explore some other options if you were coming down here. I think you might be able to get a newer room and a nicer casino someplace else. That's just my kind of personal opinion. Do whatever you guys want. I really appreciate you watching this video. I will be back shortly in another one. Until next time, bye!